Hello everyone, how are you this morning? We've had some rain overnight and it's really lovely outside this morning and our grass is starting to look green again. Have you had any rain or are you still really dry where you live? Or have you had too much rain? I'm back in the vestry this morning and I'm going to go and have a look at the bench behind the door. So this is the door in from the corridor. And then when we look here, we've got this long bench, which is full of drawers. But this morning, we're only going to look at some of the things on the top. And I thought we would have a look over here to start with. And the first thing we've got here is some cloths. And these are the cloths that we put on the tables at the side near the altar on a Sunday morning or whenever we're doing a service. And what we do is we put the velvet ones on first, they're really lovely, and the white ones on top. And they're where we keep the things that we're going to use during the service. So the silver things and the wine and the water and the bread, hand cleanser, um, things to wash our hands, all of those sort of things are kept on the table so everything is handy. Then when we finish, we fold the cloths up and we bring everything back here to keep it safe. Under there is a register, and this is the confirmation register. And sometimes we find the baptism register here too, but it's not here at the moment because we've got a baptism this weekend, so we're writing that person's name in it. So if you get baptised here or confirmed here, we will register it, we will write it down in our book, which makes it official. And when the book is full, we then send the book over to the archives, to the records place, and they keep it for a long, long time. So you have a look, there's lots of names and addresses and a record of what we did, and it's signed by whoever did the baptism or the confirmation. And this was Bishop John in 1985, confirmed all these people. That was a lot of people. Is your name in a register somewhere? Have you been baptised? Have your mum and dad been married or confirmed? Perhaps you've been confirmed. We have registers for all those things. So then behind the cloth, there's two candles. And these are our special new candles, which is why we leave them here so they don't get dirty. And they can be cleaned here. And these aren't wax candles. These are actually oil containers with a little wick on the top that we can refill with oil each time. And these are the ones that sit on the altar in the cathedral. Next to the candles is one of our useful boxes and this is where we find pens and batteries and things. It's really to keep the place a little bit tidy. Then we've got lots of different books here and these are books with prayer services in or prayers or hymns. We have some Bibles there. You can see there's the prayer book, more Bibles, a lectionary. Now that's the old one. We use the new revised one now, which is the more up-to-date translations of the readings, but that has the readings either for every Sunday or for every day. And then we have some folders with bits of music. This book here, this big green one, is a lectionary too, and this is the one we use at the moment. So let's open it up. Okay, and when we look in here, what we can see is... Well, Thursday, that's today, that's this Thursday. We have a reading, and that one's from Ephesians. We have a psalm, and we have a gospel reading. And those were the readings for the Mass this morning. And what's happened is someone has put all the people we're praying for this week. We have a special list, and we pray for different churches and different organisations every day of the year. So I'll put that back in the box and leave it there. Now, when we move past here, we have what looks like a tennis ball. And when I take it out, it's a tennis ball looking thing with a stick on the end. And here is a gong and listen. Do you like that noise? And that 
that's the bell or the gong we can use during services. We can use it when something special is happening or we use it for meditation to say it's the beginning of the silence or the end of the silence. I think that's a lovely noise. Do you like it too? And here we have the cross that stands here and reminds us this is a special place because this is where the clergy stand to get dressed ready for the Eucharist. And so we can have a look at that cross to focus our mind on what we're going to be doing. And in front is a flat cross. And this is a special flat cross to us because this is the one we put on the altar for every service. And that sits where the priests and the clergy and the other ministers can see it while the Eucharist happens. It's always sitting there on the altar. And this little glass thing here shouldn't actually be here. We better put this over here in the cupboard because we don't want to lose it or it to get broken. So that goes in there, out the way. Then when we come along here, here is a big jar that came with either biscuits or lollies in. And we've kept it because it's a useful jar. And in it, we've got lots of used tissues. But we haven't used them to wipe our noses with. These are the tissues we use to wipe extra oil up with. So when we baptise somebody or we anoint them because they're sick or they want our prayers for any other reason, we put the oil on a shell. Remember last week we saw the special shell over in the safe, the special carved one that sits in there. Well, when we put it away, we don't want to put oil on it. So what we do is we use one of the tissues and we have a box of tissues there and we wipe the oil off and then this goes into the jar until the beginning of Lent. And at the beginning of Lent, we use these tissues that have been soaked in oil to start the fire to burn our palm crosses. And we use more of them on Easter day at 5.30 in the morning. When we use them to start the fire, that we light the candle, the big Easter candle that we take into the cathedral to mean that Jesus is risen from the dead and Jesus Christ has come back into the world and the church. So we use the oil that's left over as fire starters, as very special fire starters. So that's a very special jar and that just sits here so we all know where it is. Then as we move along, we've got this funny board with hooks on. Do you know what all these things hanging up on? Let's go a bit closer and look at one. Can you see that? I'll get it off. What this is, is a headset. Goes on the back of our head and it has a microphone there. And this wire connects it to these battery packs over here and they work with our sound system. So if one of us has one of those headsets on and it's joined to one of those battery packs that recharge there and the sound system is turned on, everybody in the cathedral can hear what we're saying. And in the middle of the power packs, you can see the handheld microphone as well. That recharges in the same place. And then when we come forward, there's a reminder that this is COVID time. And you can see we've got two bottles of hand sanitizer. One looks as if it needs filling up and the other one will soon. And then the tissues we saw before. Inside a plastic box that we're not keeping anything in at the moment. And then behind the door, there's a hook. And hanging on the hook are something called copes. And these are the beautiful cloaks that clergy can wear in processions. So deans and canons and archdeacons, they wear copes on special occasions, like evensong and ordinations. And we store some of ours behind the door. A lot of them are down in the vestry further down the corridor, but these ones are kept here. 
So now we've got back to the corridor door again. So I'm going to say goodbye, stay safe, see you soon. Bye.